everyone here is a new video of Magento marketplace PayPal adaptive payments and this payment gateway is most popular and highly beneficial gateway for the marketplace users this payment gateway provides two payment options to the admin that is admin can select the parallel payment option where all the payment will be divided or split between admin and the sellers and the another option is chain payment where all the payment will go to admin and after that admin will proceed the payment to the seller so in this module customer can easily pay for their purchase through the PayPal account so in this video I'm going to show you how does this module work so to configure this module we have to enter to our admin panel so you can see this is our admin panel so we have to go to system configuration uh, under configuration you can find sales uh, under sales you can see the payment methods so under payment methods you can uh, see various payment methods installed in your marketplace so here you can find MP payments so so here you have to click on MP payments uh, so by clicking on MP payments you can easily configure this module or the payment gateway so here the first field is enable you can enable or disable this payment gateway for your marketplace and uh, the second field is sandbox box active so here you can active the sandbox or deactive uh, the sandbox by clicking on no so the next field is title so this is MP adaptive payment uh, then the adaptive payment type this is the field where admin can easily select the adaptive payment type as parallel or chained if admin select parallels then the payments will uh, split between the admin and the seller uh, at the time of uh, the payments at the same time of the payments uh, and if admin select the chained payment type uh, then uh, another field will be open uh, which is instant and delayed so if admin uh, select instant then all the amount go to the admin and after that it will proceed automatically to uh, the sellers and if admin set it as delayed then all the payment will move to admin and after the approval of admin it will proceed or it will move to the sellers so in delayed the admin have to click on pay sellers then only the payment will move to the sellers so I will explain these one by one uh, but at first I will explain you the parallel one so now here is merchant PayPal ID you can set the PayPal ID of admin here uh, then PayPal application ID you have to set the PayPal application ID or write the PayPal application ID here here is the PayPal API username you have to create a PayPal account uh, then the API username needs to be entered here then PayPal API password PayPal API signature you have to enter it here you will get these informations uh, from the PayPal website so now the payment application for uh, from applicable from uh, all allowed countries or you can set it as uh, for some specified countries so if you select some specified countries you can select 
various countries from here this is multi select so I will set it as all allowed countries now the new order status you can set the new order status pending or processing so I'll select it processing so after the configuration uh, you can save the configuration by uh, this save configuration button so after configuration we will move to the sellers account so this is our demo sellers account so to use this payment so here the seller have to enter to the seller profile because they have to configure the PayPal details so the, this is the edit profile information page here all the information of the seller will be saved so here you can see the PayPal details here the seller have to enter the PayPal details uh, to activate the PayPal account or to integrate the PayPal account with the marketplace so that the seller can easily use the PayPal payment gateway and uh, use the features of that payment gateway so here is the configuration now by uh, this button you can save the PayPal details of the seller so that's how a seller can easily save the PayPal information for his account now we will move to the sellers account so here is our demo sellers account so as you remember the admin have set the parallel payment type so I will show you how the pam parallel payment will work and how customer will pay from their PayPal account so we have to log out from our sellers panel so we have logged into our demo customers panel so this is our customer so I will go and purchase a product and I'll show you how customer can easily select the payment option as PayPal Adaptive so this is our checkout page now the next step is the shipping method I have to select the shipping method then I have to click on continue now the next step is payment information here I have to select the payment gateway so here is our MP adaptive payment now we have to click on continue and I will here is the review order or order his order details you can easily log in to your PayPal account and pay this amount to the seller and the admin so both are different and parallel uh, the payment will be go parallelly uh, to both so by clicking on pay 
a page will open of the payment confirmation and uh, now that page will redirect you to uh, our marketplace so that's how customer can easily uh, use the PayPal adaptive payment now we will move to the admin panel so in admin panel we will so here we will change the parallel payment to the change chained payment uh, in chained payment we will I will show you the delayed option of the chain payment so I have selected the chain payment and uh, I will save the configuration so here is the success message the configuration has been saved so now we will again order a product and see how does it work so I will order that same product to demonstrate you how the chained payment will work so we have to select the shipping method in our checkout page then we have to click on continue then we have to select the MP adaptive payment then continue then we have to review our order and after that we have to place click on place the order and this will redirect us to the PayPal adaptive payment page so here you can see only the admins account is uh, been shown uh, or displayed the seller account is not or seller ID is not displayed so in this case the whole the payment is been transferred to the admin only and after that admin will pay the seller sometime so here the customer will again log into the PayPal account so so after login the customer will pay the amount and this screen will redirect us to our market so this screen will redirect us to the our marketplace page so the here is our marketplace page so now the chained payment transaction has been done and admin can easily view the chain payment so this is our admin panel uh, so we admin have to go to MP payment details so here the recently ordered product will be shown so here is the details of the product now here is the transaction history of the product and here is delayed chain payment menu so here admin can uh, if admin click on this uh, release vendor payment then the pender, uh, payment pending payment will be released to the vendors so uh, this is how the payments will be released uh, after some uh, time from the admin to the vendors so here is the success message payment released to the vendor successfully so uh, that's all for uh, this video video and for this module I hope you have understood how to configure uh, the PayPal adaptive payment uh, in your marketplace and uh, how sellers can easily integrate their PayPal account with uh, the marketplace PayPal, PayPal adaptive payment module and uh, how customers can easily pay for their purchases from uh, their PayPal account and I hope you have understood how admin can change the parallel and chained payment options and what are the uses of those so thank you for watching this video stay connected